What's up, everybody? It is Lance Muser, aka Arrow Knight, and today we're going to talk about, as you can see, Minecraft Legends. This is something that uh, I, um, well, we've been excited about. Um, the kiddos and I played Minecraft quite a bit. We go kind of, you know, like anything else, we play for a bit, and we take a little break, then we play for a bit. Minecraft is, uh, I didn't play it much growing up, but uh, playing it with the kiddos and stuff over the last uh, several years, it, you can definitely see pretty quick while it's like, to me, like the Mario of, you know, several generations now at this point, but it's super fun, Minecraft in general. Uh, so when they announced Minecraft Legends, um, we were pretty pumped about it. And uh, yeah, today we're going to take a look at it. Um, still not quite sure fully what to expect. Uh, we're going to kind of analyze it a bit here and see what we think. Uh, you guys let me know uh, you know what you think. Let us know down below in the comments if you've been following it, if you're going to pick it up, what you think, if it's something you're interested in. Uh, before we jump into that, just a quick heads up. Uh, we got endmuser.com up and running. Um, right now we're trying to decide if we're going to keep using Linktree or keep a, keep a website up like this. We just like a landing page for you guys to very quickly and easily be able to get to our latest YouTube content. And then, of course, all the links. We got the Discord here if you want to join up, of course. Um, we've had quite a few uh, quite a few awesome people uh, join in the last bit. So uh, very much appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, shout out to all of you. And yeah, um, jump in. Gaming, community, uh, collecting, just fun, music, movies, TV. We're talking about all kinds of stuff in there, sharing our content. We got some podcasters in there. Uh, yeah, just having a good time. So if you want to jump in, jump in. You can find it at endmuser.com. Boom, right there is the link. We got the gaming YouTube. Collecting YouTube, we are hoping to launch soon. I've mentioned it a couple times, but we've got uh, probably at least five videos ready to go there. At some point, I'd love to put some content up, up on my Lance Muser channel. I'm just trying to decide kind of, that's probably going to be kind of random over there at some point. Uh, if I start posting some content over there on that channel within our brand. So anyways, the Twitters are here. And then, of course, Linktree. If you want to hit up the links a different way, you can go that route. But yeah, thanks for checking it out. We appreciate all the support. We see you subscribing. We see you guys jumping in the Discord. And it's just a fun, good, positive time. And uh, yeah, we all like hanging out and talking about the stuff we enjoy. So let's jump over. We'll... Um, we're going to kind of take a look at a uh, trailer. Um, we're going to look at some gameplay that they released several months back and try to figure out, I'm still not certain, like what, how this game is going to be uh, when you're actually playing it. So I'll show you, um, we played a game for a bit called Trove. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. So we're going to take a look at it and kind of compare and contrast it with Legends. Um, they seem different, similar, all, all of it in a mixed bag. So uh trove is something we enjoyed shout out i believe to holden mr holden court um you tweeted back at me one day and um uh me and the kiddos played trove a bit because it was very kid friendly but very fun and and a loot kind of driven game and we'll take a look at it so let's jump in i say you know what let's just kind of take a look at their main page here first so I, I was also trying to figure out it looks like it's going to be on all the platforms um PS4 and 5, Xbox One, X and S, and Nintendo Switch, which, you know, something like that graphically, you know, shouldn't be hopefully too intensive. So Switch. So when I see that, you know, I immediately, you know, I'm wondering, okay, if it's going to be on all those platforms, are we talking cross play? Are we talking cross progression? To me, cross progression, well, I say that, you know, we, we play on Xbox and Switch and PS5, so cross-play would be nice as well. But I always love cross-progression, too, because I like to be able to play on PS5 when I'm in the game room chilling. And then I like to take it over to the Switch, you know, if I'm about to crash or something and play in bed or when I'm laying down or something like that. So anyways, I, I haven't found... I searched cross-platform, and then I also searched cross-progression. Um... So we could look at an article, but like initially it says here on this search, uh, and it's probably from this website, which I've not heard of, uh, Minecraft features cross-play and cross-platform progression uh, legends across all platforms. The multiplayer game is available. So kind of confirms, but again, it doesn't really, because I, I don't really know where that's coming from. If you guys know, let me know if you get a, a link to... Um, a confirmation on that let me know when i go over here and, and search cross progression 
I don't really find anything like I don't the loadout I've I've heard of before maybe um gamer gamer rant obviously or gamer rant we know but I don't know if they this talks about how their approach to multiplayer is ideal Minecraft surface base blah 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 similar to Minecraft dungeons legends will offer will include competitive play this will official be an official feature by Mojang yeah, I don't know. Let's just do a quick search here. Progression. Got that nice ring from Windows. Mob progression. Okay, here we go. In the same way that My Minecraft Dungeons was an attempt at the hack and slash action RPG, Minecraft Legends is a step into the action strategy RTS genre that looks to appeal to a wide audience. Given that this franchise has featured cross-platform and cross-progression in its other titles, it is expected that Legends will also... Uh, will offer those same features as well. So no confirmation there. When is this from? Uh, this is back from December. Um, of course, it's April now. So I don't know. Uh, if you guys know, uh, comment down below and let us know for sure. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's jump back over here. Unite the overworld. Discover the mysteries of Minecraft Legends, a new action strategy game. Lead your allies into heroic battles to defend the overworld from the destructive piglins. Let's see here. April 18th is another reason. I didn't realize we hadn't looked at the release date in a while. I was jumping on the date down there. April 12th right now I'm recording this. So um, let's see. Gather your strength. Explore familiar yet mysterious land full of diverse life, lush biomes, and rich resources. But this paradise is on the brink of destruction. The piglins have arrived and they're threatening to corrupt the overworld. Defeat the piglins. Inspire unexpected friends to form valuable alliances and lead them in strategic battles to protect their home take the fight to the piglins before their nether corruption devours the overworld so not a lot of information there um does minecraft legends come out april 18th how much minecraft, minecraft legends cost depends on the platform minecraft legends includes online campaign co-op and competitive multiplayer options form valuable alliances with your friends form valuable alliance with your friends lead strategic battles to defend the overworld together so that's cool all right let's check this out so um we can look at the trailer but it's it's all cinematic so i don't know if we'll watch the whole thing let's take a look here for a few minutes I always love the art in their cinematic trailers. I love the actual gameplay too, but. This isn't very long. We might just watch the whole thing. Oh no! I think I watched this back. We may have watched it back when it came out. Knowledge, come with me. We must witness this together. So I think this might have been the original yeah, five months ago. I don't know if it was the original announcement trailer, just the official cinematic trailer. Let's take a look at some of the comments here. 
beautiful. Then it gives me Mordor vibes. The whole game seems better as a mod for Minecraft. <laughs> That's not Minecraft. This is a game of all time. Awesome animation. I always love their cinematic trailers. Um, this will be a game ever made. Either missed a word or being funny there. All right, let's see. Fix better our condition for creating new games. Uh, yeah, not too much. I mean, just random YouTube comments. So this is where I really want to look at this. So this is the... They did this five months ago as well. I kind of jumped 12 minutes in here. I don't know how much of this we'll watch. Enough to get a kind of an idea together. But um, I want to look at this, see what we think, and then compare it to Trove. If you've heard of Trove, we'll kind of watch both here. This looks really cool to me. I love the art style. I love the idea of this. This is Trove over here. You can see very similar. We played this on PlayStation and Xbox, I think. Um, and it's super fun. Like there's a big world, there's dungeons. It's like it's like Minecraft graphic pixelated version of WoW. And I, I'm obviously not quite like WoW, but it's just that there's loot, there's dungeons, there's bosses. Um, it's kind of like a massive world, if you will, to a certain degree. We didn't play it a ton, but we enjoyed what we did play of it. Um, I'm not real sure the current state of this game. I did see on their channel they had uh, uh, some sort of update maybe like four months ago. If you're playing Tro, I'm curious. Down below, let us know what you think of it. If you're playing it, if you, how long you've played it, um, why it's cool. So, yeah, let's jump over and watch this just a little bit. Let's do oh, it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Who is that cool, cool animal? So this here is the Regal Tiger. It's one of the many new mobs that you'll see in Minecraft Legends, and it's one of the few that you'll able, be able to ride. That's so cool. And throughout the game, you're always riding on one, and this one looks really fast. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's one of the reasons why it's my favorite, and also because it's so adorable. It is really adorable. So where are we going to go? Uh, well, I got a couple things planned. Where We should be heading over to help the rest of the team battle a piglin base, but there was a few things that I wanted to show off first. See, just in general, this looks awesome. You got mats down there. You've got, I, I like the interface. It feels like Minecraft, but obviously, you know, it's a third person kind of action um, co-op adventure, if you will. Like what I envision or what I would like to see is a kind of an open world um, co-op dungeon-ish kind of things. And that's what I just, I, maybe there's more gameplay out there that I haven't found uh link anything below or mention anything below if you guys know of some but um that's what i envision and what i would hope for i just don't know if that's what it's gonna be at least initially but let's watch some more here i see the well of fate yeah you sure do so this is the well of fate as you mentioned it is the players home away from home when they're in the world of legends it's uh, where you start the adventure and you return here many times throughout the course of the game so you'll become very familiar with it by the end it's so beautiful. I love how peaceful and nice it is here. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. So actually here, I'm gonna scoop up some friends. So you're using the banner of courage. Another thing you'll notice is they do a lot, uh, and we're gonna fast forward to like some battling because that's another big aspect I wanted to see how that pans out. But he does this kind of um, aura kind of thing where he, and you'll see it later again when we go to the, this next scene or here in just a little bit, but like this um, kind of pans out on the uh, surface of the map uh, or environment to uh, call these allies in, these uh, kind of just creatures roaming the world. It's so beautiful. I love how peaceful and nice it is here. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. So actually here, I'm going to scoop up some friends. So you're using the banner of courage. That's right. You just Aww. wave it around whenever there's a friendly mob nearby and they'll follow you around. So we're gonna get uh, get a group of animals going here. Oh, nice! Yeah, quite a quite a bunch of cuties. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna take them for a swim, just for fun. Okay, so they're coming with you for fun, that's but not right. to fight. That's right. I mean, <laughs> look at that pig's face. Would you send that face into battle? No, definitely. Seems very not. scripted, <laughs> but I would to be expected. It, though I'm ready. So I had a couple more things I wanted to show. First off, with the alays, I'm gonna ask the the alays to gather this tree for me. That's really cool. Yeah, you can see him tearing down that. 
So you can see here, and I watched some of this again. I, I probably watched it back in the day when it, closer to when it came out as well. But this is how you collect materials. It looks like you assign them the task to do this for you. Actually, curious. I want to see if his mats go up here. That tree. Um, yep, they're going play, up. So. Uh, players will be familiar with uh, vanilla Minecraft, uh, breaking down the world and rebuilding it block by block. In Legends, we like to say that you do that thought by thought. So the player just has to say, you know what? I need some wood. And then you ask the lays to gather it for you, and off they go. So it looks like you don't actually farm mats yourself. I mean, you're kind of still doing it, but you're assigning it to other creatures in the game. That's so amazing. So they will stay there and just keep gathering as you go about your journey. That's right. You can you can send them off to gather resources while you do more important things. They're really nice friends. They sure are. They <laughs> sure are. So right over here is the next thing I wanted to show off. This is very similar to the bounce caps that you and Magnus were talking about. These sparkling bushes in front of me are called speedweed. Now, the player just needs to touch these and they'll get a speed boost. So we're gonna use these here to rip through a few biomes and head over to the team battling the piglins. Nice. Off we go. Wow, we're really fast now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. So we're heading into the jungle here. We're gonna hit some more speedweed. This all looks really cool to me. Like, I, I really just hope the gameplay loops there. Uh, you'll see in a minute, he jumps on top of these trees and stuff. It looks really cool. We'll fast forward then after that to the kind of where they're battling the piglins. And then we're going to hit these bounce caps here. So we're going to be super fast and jump super high. Well, maybe we'll, maybe some of our uh, little cuties will catch up, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we're... might be too fast and too <laughs> jumpy for them. So let's fast forward here. This is where I just cannot decide if I'm going to like the actual gameplay of this game, I, I mean, I'm sure we'll like it, but you know what I mean? Like as far as longevity or if it's actually what we're looking for. And I guess, again, we're comparing it to what Trove was. Um, and I'll show you that. I'm trying to find, oh, here it is. So it looks like, I don't know, at some point, I think he joins up with someone. Okay, here we go. Whew. Yeah, Lee's right in across that bridge there. She's got a whole bunch of mobs with her. Whoa. She's going to send them into battle using the Banner of Courage. So this is where, like, Trove, you, you are controlling your character, and you're going in and pressing a button to attack. This looks like you're just assigning attack commands to the mob that's with you or your allies. I don't know that you actually, and we'll watch a bit more, if you actually attack with your character. So I, I just don't know. There's that aspect. And then also, if it's more of like a single player journey, like I would love if it was some sort of like loot driven game. Um, I don't know that we ever see the actual menus or like your character. Because of course in uh, Minecraft Dungeons, you do kind of have loot and you have your character. So maybe they're not wanting to go that route. Um, and some of you may know some of this if there's been some other uh, coverage on this game. So again, please comment below and let us know uh, your thoughts on the game and, and some of this other stuff maybe that, that we're not aware of. But anyways, let's, yeah, let's, let's kind of watch this a little bit. So that big piglin over there is a lava launcher. That is one of the most dangerous piglins you can find in the Horde of the Spore. This is a Horde of the Spore base. And uh, that piglin, you really got to watch out for those. They can attack long range by shooting magma cubes at you. They can also do short range stomp attacks to destroy any mobs nearby. And Leah's actually put her uh, Elise to, to work helping out building those towers. That's right. Really I mean, I am getting kind of excited watching this in the sense that it looks cool that you're kind of working with someone to attack this base. Um, Again, I just, I don't know, like, if you're just hanging, maybe this is the the um, class type or something, but if you're just hanging back here and just sending your allies in, like, I would love to just go in with a sword and, you know, help out if I could. But I also get, like, a very, like, tower defense feel from this. And I don't, that's not, I mean, I play tower defense games, but, again, I'm just not sure. Really cool to actually have more defense. That's right. The towers that she's got on the left oh, look and at right that. side defense of the bridge and towers here, those are arrow towers. They're going to shoot arrows at any piglins nearby. So um, what we're doing here is we're essentially um, moving our way into the base, taking out the piglin structures, setting up structures of our own, battling the piglins, and making a safe path towards the portal in order to take... It's fast forward. 13%, a couple more shots. 
Hopla! Great job, team! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna... So, I mean, obviously that was kind of like a little instance of a battle or dungeon or out in the world or whatever. I don't I just, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. The game's almost out. Maybe there's some more gameplay out there that I, I kind of did a little bit of a search before we made this video, but um, I can't decide. Like, it'll be fun and we'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm just not sure if it's exactly what we thought it was initially. And maybe we were comparing it too much to Trove just by default, but I'm just curious here. Game really looks better than I first expected it to look. Imagine if I could have mobs like this without the use of modding. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a Minecraft Dungeons-like game, but it looks like a unique and overall well-made. It looks unique and overall well-made. I can't wait to play this. The animations get better and better. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I think people will like it enough to check it out. Will it be enough to, to purchase it, you know? We will find out, but uh, I want to jump over to Trove now and just kind of show you, and hopefully this video will show a bit, but Trove is, again, more of like a, you have your character, you control your character. I'm sure there's um, pets or maybe like a companion, but let's just watch this a little bit. I haven't, I haven't watched really any of this. Part of, has fishing DNA also, and Adam can explain that in a minute, um, but... But yeah, so we, we needed a place in the hub to put it. So we decided, hey, let's put it in the crafting corner. We can add onto this section. It'll look, it'll look pretty good. We wanted to kind of see if we can find some. Got it. So you can kind of get cats. Yeah. And then I'll to the pond of power. You'll notice that you have the depths of the angler and node from lava pools. See you might this? Actually... Like, this is awesome. Inventory. Look at that inventory. It's like, wow, except Minecraft graphics. That's kind of what we were thinking legends minecraft legends was going to be yourself like water pools this is the last kind of new thing to fishing that is most of what, what it involves now um there's also some fun new items i think you've got a couple of the nets on you you can kind of sh if we can find another pool you can show them off i got one right over and show where you get them so absolutely so, so see, I played it enough. I think they're in like a little dungeon instance here. And you can see, I mean, what do you guys think of this game? I don't, if you've played it, let us know. But it's just cool. It's it's literally like it seems like it's at least especially when we played it. Um, we didn't get super high level, but we enjoyed playing it um, and running like dungeon instances together and stuff. And it, it just seems like Minecraft. Wow, basically like what's up, Sin? It seems like that's our discord there. Jump in, have some fun with us. New so, rod, yeah, watch. New dragons. Yeah, there's some uh, dragons. Do we want to show those off? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go up and show where you get them. So, absolutely. So, um, all three dragons are gained from from the, the, the these two new systems that we're implementing. Mm -hmm. um, you can get you can craft them over at the dragon idol or dragon crucible. Um, excuse me. Um, and we have, you know, two new ones and one that. Idea or criticism. Let us know if it's something completely unpredictable. I mean, tell me, you, I, I didn't play a ton of while. I played it here and there. Definitely not way back, you know, in the, the height of it all. But I did, I think I started playing my first time around Cataclysm, maybe. But not anything too crazy. Not not to the um, extent that I've played other games. But I played it enough. I mean, you look at this. This looks like Minecraft WoW. And the way the loot is in this game, the way you control your character, that's kind of what we were hoping that... Minecraft Legends would be, and I just don't know yet. It doesn't seem like it. Even if the gameplay is still like you take mobs and you, you know, tell them what to do. If there was loot and stuff like that, that'd still be cool. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be like a loot-based kind of game. I'm really not sure. And, you know, and maybe some of that info is out there. But uh, anyways, it was more of kind of like a brainstorming thing. The game's about to come out. You know, I don't know if we're going to pick it up right away. But uh, let us know what you think. The game, you could be watching this and the game's out already. So... If you're playing it, it's out and you're playing it, drop a comment below and let us know what you think of it. Um, as always, uh, we appreciate appreciate you guys, sorry, checking out the channel. And um, yeah, like we said before, don't hesitate to uh, head over to emuser.com, jump in the Discord, check out uh, some other videos on our channel. We've been enjoying these uh, reaction videos. So uh, just a fun time, gaming, collecting, community, having fun with uh, 
like-minded people that enjoy the uh, same things that we enjoy. So, um, and by we, I mean everybody. So yeah, anyways, thanks again. And I don't know what we're going to cover next. I'm not sure. Kind of just check out the news every day and, and see what new videos. I do know tomorrow, if you're watching this, actually probably today that we're posting this, um, a new Zelda uh, I think the final trailer comes out. I don't know if we'll do a reaction on that or not, but uh, that'll be exciting to watch. So check that out. Um, it's coming out April 13th. So likely when we will post this. And if you're watching it after, you probably already watched it. But again, thanks so much for all the support. We very much appreciate it. And uh, as always, until next time, take care.